Hey guys, I'm going to take you guys with me to the gym today and we're going to do a pretty intense leg workout. I'm kind of nervous because I haven't recorded in the gym in a while, but we're going to do it. We got this. A nice little ponytail. So I am basically ready. I'm going to make some creatine. This is the creatine I take. Monohydrate helps you not retain as much water, but I still feel like I retain water. It helps with the gains. So that's all that matters. So this is the pre-workout I'm currently using. I do not really like it a ton, just because I feel like it makes me too tingly. We have arrived to lifetime. I'm gonna get started by warming up my legs. I do the Stairmaster for about five minutes and I skip a step as if I'm doing step ups. All my weight is in my heels. And then I'm going to get ready for single leg barbell hip thrusts. These are literally the secret to growing your glutes because it completely isolates each glute and targets your gluteus maximus, which is the largest muscle in your glutes so as you can see my feet are about shoulder width apart and all my weight is going to be in my left leg here my left leg heel and then the right leg is just to give you some support it is a little more difficult to balance the bar but I promise you once you get it down you will feel the burn in each single glute so you are gonna want to have to be very careful with doing these because you don't want to hurt your back make sure that you're moving in one single movement you keep your chin down at all times to keep a neutral spine and then you lift fully upwards all the way to the top until your leg creates a 90 degree angle and you're gonna want to make sure you're doing a weight that's comfortable for you don't go extremely heavy if you're having a hard time and you have to thrust only your hips forward you want to move with your spine neutral and move all together And then we're gonna get ready for sumo deadlifts. I'm going to keep the weight the same, fairly light, 25s on each side. But if you're new, I would recommend the bar or doing maybe five or 10 pounds on each side. So you're gonna to wanna to be a little further than shoulder width apart with your feet, and then you're going to angle your feet 45 degrees outward. And when you go down, again, you keep a neutral spine. You do not bend it, it's neutral. And when you go down, you're gonna create, again, that 90 degree angle with your your legs to your butt <laughs> and you're just gonna act as if you're sitting in a seat so you're gonna hinge your hips backwards and then when you get forward or when you're on your way up you thrust very very slightly not extremely so with that thrust you're just gonna tighten your glute muscles so with the barbell hip thrust we did four sets of eight on each leg I forgot to mention that and then with these sumo deadlifts, we're doing three sets of 12. Your legs should be burning by now. And then we're gonna prepare for regular hip thrusts. I'm going to use a fairly lightweight again, and we're gonna do, we're gonna do five sets of these, and we're gonna do 15, 12, 10, 10, and eight. So it's gonna be very difficult, but I promise you it's gonna burn. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart, slightly angled, angled outwards, not necessarily 45 degrees but probably like 20 degrees and then you're going to keep your chin down and your back is neutral your spine is neutral and then you're just going to thrust forward with your whole body you're also going to want to make sure that your back is on a pad or a bench where it meets your shoulder blades and it should feel comfortable when you're doing this movement it should not hurt your back at all if it does Focus on your form and decrease the weight. But you should look like that at the end of your sets. So here's another angle. Again, you're creating a 90 degree angle. Just kind of remember that basically with almost every exercise, 
with your legs you are hinging to create a 90 degree angle but sometimes it is okay to go a little further down with these with these reverse hack squats I'm going to be doing three times ten and I'm using a very low weight here I'm using like 25 or 35 but so you see as I go down my feet are shoulder width apart and I'm going down to create a little less than 90 degrees but just kind of aim for 90 degrees you can go a little further as long as you're not winking your butt and you're kind of going straight down and then straight up but focus your weight on your heels and these should burn and make sure you're staying hydrated throughout your entire workout we are going to finish off this workout with some hip abductions I like to use a heavy weight here I'm using about 145 but again I've been doing this for years about 10 years so make sure that you're doing a weight that's comfortable for you I like to press my hands against the seat to give me some leverage and then lift myself very slightly so I can target the gluteus medius on the sides and for these we're going to do three sets of 15 so use a weight that is comfortable for you that makes it difficult but it's possible for you to do 15 reps and that's going to be the end of our workout your legs will be burning for about two days i promise you and then i tried to do a cute video in the bathroom but i did not do so great i will get better next time but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one